So you've set up a new WooCommerce website and now you think the money is gonna start just rolling in and the first order gets placed and the customer's email actually looks like this. Not great, right? So in this video, I'm gonna tell you two ways you can customize your WooCommerce emails that are going out from your website. And I would recommend you watch the video till the end because the second method, in my opinion, is much more exciting and powerful than the first one. Let's go. So the first method you can utilize to customize all the emails going out from your website, specifically for WooCommerce, is by utilizing something called, drum roll, WooCommerce itself. Yes, WooCommerce does have a feature where you can customize all the WooCommerce related emails going out from your website right inside WooCommerce. Let me explain how that works. All you have to do is go into WooCommerce, settings, and then the emails section right here. And you'll see a bunch of options right here. First, you can see all the emails that are configured to go out from your website when anything order related happens. So an email is configured to go out on new orders, canceled orders, failed orders, order on hold, processing, and a bunch of other statuses or anything that related ha or anything that happens related to orders. You can enable or disable any of these emails. So not all of the emails will be sent out and you can see the status right here. If you hover over this, you'll see if it's enabled or disabled. And you can also manage and customize some of these options by clicking the manage option right here. For example, I have the management options open up for the processing order email. Let me explain what the options are. So as you can see, you can enable or disable this email. You can customize the subject line, you can customize the email heading, and you can customize the additional content from the email. Not the actual content, the additional content, and you can also change the email type. So you have options for email, plain text, and multi-part. So after making changes to some of these options right here, you might be wondering, hey, where do I actually preview my email? I want to look at the email, how it'll appear for the end customer. Do I click this view template button right here? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Because if you click this button right here, then it'll open up the code view of the actual email template, not the actual visual preview. And one of the other things that is annoying is that you cannot actually customize this option or customize this email template right here, even if you understand PHP and HTML code, which you will need to do or need to understand to make some changes. For that, you'll have to understand these instructions and follow these instructions, which is to override and edit this template, copy this file, which is under your WooCommerce templates emails folder, which is customer processing order.php, copy it to your theme folder and then actually make changes to the email template. It is a hectic process, but it is what it is. But all hope is not lost. You don't need to understand PHP and HTML code just to make some basic cosmetic changes on your website. There is actually options inside WooCommerce that let you do everything right there inside WooCommerce. If you scroll down from the emails template right here, you'll see some additional options that you can customize without having to mess with code. You can customize the from name, you can customize the from address, and you can customize some of the email template details as well. For example, you can upload a header image which will appear as the header image on your site. So this is the header image. You can upload an image which will appear instead of this email template. The header image will appear right here. You can also customize the footer text and some of the color details as well. So you can change the base color, the background color, the background body background color, and the body text color as well. So if I go here and maybe I change it to something like orange, and if I check the preview once again, it will appear differently or the orange color will start reflecting right here. And that's how you customize your WooCommerce emails right inside WooCommerce. At least the cosmetic changes, the colors and some other details can be changed right here inside WooCommerce. Unfortunately, if you want to change the copy of the emails or the text inside the emails, you'll have to either hire someone who understands PHP code or you'll have to make changes yourself by changing the template copy. I understand that's not for everybody, but what everybody can do is watch this video till the end because in the second method, I'm going to demonstrate an easiest way to customize your WooCommerce emails. So the method number two you can utilize to customize your WooCommerce emails going out from your site is by using a tool called Autonami. Now, Autonami definitely will help you customize your WooCommerce emails, but it's not just limited to that. It's actually a complete marketing automation tool built right for WordPress. And apart from just sending emails, it can do a lot more. Let me give you a quick demonstration of how it works. Once you install and activate Autonami on your site, you'll see a bunch of options right here. You'll have contacts, cards, and all that. But right now, I'm trying to demonstrate the automations engine of Autonami, which will help you do a lot of things with emails on your site. So go into Autonami once it's installed and activated, go to automations, and then you can start creating automations either from scratch or you can import pre-built automations that are built by the Autonomy team. So if you want to see the, all the automations or start creating, just click the add new automation button. And what you see right here is a bunch of automations pre-built that you can just simply import on your site. For example, one of the most common things any WooCommerce site needs is an abandoned card recovery strategy. So you have abandoned card reminder, you have a pro version of that. And what these will do is create automated sequences of actions, triggers, and conditions happening on your site, which will trigger automations. And of course, you can customize everything about that automation. Let me demonstrate. 
Let's click the abandoned cart reminder pro and this will open up the automation in a visual manner or this is the new visual display where you can customize and see how the automation is going to look like. So what the trigger right now here is that if the cart is abandoned, wait for 30 minutes and send an email to the user. And of course, it continues a lot longer and does a lot more details. But right now, I'm going to demonstrate how you can customize those emails. So first, you'll have to import the automation on your site. So import and let's give it a name. Let's say abandoned cart. Oops. So I'm going to name the automation. I'm going to import that on my site. And once it's imported, I can actually customize all the details right here. So let me explain how the automation works. The abandoned cart trigger is the trigger that enables or I'd say initiates this automation. And the next step is that there's a 30 minute delay and then an email is sent out to the user and a lot of details are included in the email already. So if I click this right now, you can see the email actually is pre designed for me or it's pre made for me. So it goes out to the contact email. The subject line is filled in with some uh, merge tags. That means the card billing and the customer's first name is already included. You have preview text and you have three different ways to actually customize and design your emails. Right now, the option selected here is the rich text option, which is this right here. But you also have raw HTML and you can also use the visual builder to start designing your email completely from scratch. Just like a page builder, uh, you can utilize a page builder to create a site. Let me explain this or let me open this up to show the capabilities of the visual builder. So once it's open, you can actually utilize the power of just drag and drop and like arranging Lego pieces together to create a complete email. So you have columns, you can include buttons, you have dividers. For example, if I just add a heading right here, there's a heading. I can add buttons right here, which can be a click or call to action for me. I can include HTML, I can include email or images right here. I can also include some text and add some product details as well. All this can be done right inside autonomy without having to hire a developer, mess with code, or even understanding anything about what's happening. But as you can see, as you can see how easily I was just able to create a simple email with a heading, with an image, a product detail included right here, dynamic data included in the email, and also a button and also some additional business information. You can do all that right inside Autonomy. Now, that's not even the best part of what Autonomy does for you, because apart from customizing the emails, you can do a lot more by just customizing the automation itself. So as I explained right now, the automation we are dealing with is the cart abandonment uh, automation. So this triggers whenever there's a cart abandoned happening. So when the cart is abandoned, 30 minutes later, an email is sent out to the user automatically. Then automation waits for another day and then sends out another email, which is another customized email right here. You can customize this as well. Then if you go even deeper, there's another customization or another, I'd say, uh, condition which waits for two more days. And then there's a condition which checks if the cart value that the customer abandoned was greater than 25. So if it was greater than 25, then you will create a coupon automatically or autonomy will create an automatic coupon with this email. You, you have some options right here. It'll automatically create a coupon and then send another email to the user right here. And then the automation will end. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with autonomy. This is a complete visual builder. You can add conditions anywhere. You can customize any of these details. If you, let's say if your store has higher profit margins, you can change the cart value. You can uh, mess with the coupons, how much discount you want to send. All of those details can be customized right here. For example, I have another automation set up right here on my website, which is connected with a webhook. So whenever an external service triggers this automation, there's a bunch of conditions that go out and then send a couple of emails, assign them to courses and all those details because Autonomy connects with a lot of different tools as well right inside WordPress. It connects with WordPress itself, it connects with WooCommerce, it connects with LMSs, it connects with external email services. So let's say you don't want to send out emails directly from your site, you can actually connect with any other email service like SendGrade, ConvertKit, Drip, or any other email service that you utilize. You can connect Autonomy with that email service and the emails will be sent out using all these conditions, but the email service will be utilized there. As you can probably tell, this is not just an email customization tool. Definitely, you can customize your emails to the nth degree, but this is a more powerful tool to do anything on your website to grow your business as a whole. And if you're interested in autonomy, I've left links down in the description of this video and also in the pinned comments so that you can check it out. And if you're interested in autonomy, you might also be interested in its sister product, which is called WooFunnels. WooFunnels is a complete funnel making solution for WordPress. You can create an entire funnel, including upsells, downsells, one time upgrade offers, order bumps, all that good stuff, including uh, customizing your checkout, even overriding the global checkout, which WooCommerce offers and customizing all the details right here inside WordPress. Both of these are really, really powerful tools for any WooCommerce stores. And of course, if you want to customize just emails, you can do that as well right inside Autonomy and the power of WooFunnels combined, they'll give you great results overall on your site.
So once you've explored autonomy and WooFunnels and customized all your emails to your heart's desire, you also want to make sure that the emails are actually going out from your website. Because a lot of times what happens is you configure everything correctly according to you, but the emails just don't go out from your website. And the possible reason can be that you haven't configured an SMTP service that connects with your website, which is a requirement for most hosts nowadays. If you want to learn how to do that, then I would recommend checking out a couple of the videos right here. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.